welcome to this overview of Ghost, a modern and powerful content management system designed specifically for creators, writers and publishers. Whether you are a content creator or business owner looking to build a content-driven website, Ghost offers a flexible and intuitive platform to bring your ideas to life. In this video, we'll take a deep dive into Ghost's unique features and capabilities, its user-friendly interface, customizable design and robust publishing tools make it easy to create and manage content. We'll also look at its powerful membership and subscription features, allowing you to monetize your content and build a loyal following. If you look at Elestio's blog, we are using Ghost and I really enjoy using it, so I'm very glad to present you this tool. Join us as we discover the power of Ghost and how it can help you create a stunning online presence. Let's dive in. To deploy Ghost, you have multiple options available. Either you use Ghost Cloud, so you have the pricing on their pricing page, or you can go to the GitHub repository and follow the instructions to install it yourself on your own server. Or you can use our platform, Elastio, where you will be able to install it in a single click and you will only have to pay for the hosting. Let's create our instance of Ghost on Elastio. Hit login. Then hit deploy my first service, if you don't have one yet. Search for Ghost and hit select. Then select your cloud provider. I will use Kaleway. Choose your region, your resources and hit next. Then select the level of support you need and hit create service. We will receive an email as soon as our instance is ready and deployed. Once you receive the email, you can go to click here to get the password. We arrive on our instance dashboard on LSEO. We can copy the password that has been automatically generated for us and go to the admin UI from this URL here. Sign in to user's blog. My email address is the one from my LSTO account. And the password is in my clipboard and I can hit sign in. Here is the dashboard the first time I arrive on my Ghost instance. I have an onboarding tour, add or import members. I will add myself as a member to test. Okay, I see myself. I also have two articles telling me how to build my audience and how to get my first 100 subscribers. Let's go to the dashboard to have a look at it. There's only one member, it's me that I just added. We can see the engagement, recent posts, some resources. And it's something we really like at Ghost is that they not only uh, provide a service, but they also give you resources and stuff to help you grow your community. If we scroll down a bit, you can see featured publications in business and you can be part of it and have your uh, own website listed here. What you need to do is to click on add your site to explore, but because we didn't mail anything yet, it's nonsense to do it. But let's click on browsal to see what it looks like. You have different blogs within different categories and there is one metric they display either the MRR or the number of members. And if you search, you can even find LSTO because we are available on Ghost Explorer. And this is the tool that we use internally. So you can have a pretty good overview of what you can achieve using Ghost. You also have it available here when you go to Explore. You don't have to leave your own instance. You have the listing available here. Okay, now let's have a look at how to create a post. So go to posts and plus. The interface is very easy. You have an image on top, the title and your content. And for the content, you have different type of content you can create to achieve every kind of result. Let's add an image. We can upload it or click on the Unsplash logo to have access to the library. Let's create a fake article about uh, Japanese food. So let's search it, select any and hit insert image. Now let's scroll a bit. Let's add a title, best food in Japan. And let's start writing it. By the way, you can see Grammarly here. It's an extension of mine. It's not based on uh, Ghost itself. So let's write anything. Here is the top 10 dishes in Japan. Let's say we want to add a YouTube video. We can scroll and search for YouTube and paste at the URL of any video. It will automatically generate a preview. You can add a caption. Our video review of the best dishes. So by default, you can write any text. 
but if you need some formatting, you can either hover the text, set it as a heading, so it will be a title. If you want to insert a link or quote it, you have simple options available here, but it's not all. You can just do slash and hit markdown. And here you will have a markdown editor that will generate the content. But let's get rid of it. We won't spend too much time on the edition because it's pretty straightforward. Just know that you don't have a lot of options to customize the layout, it's items one below the others. Once you are happy with your article, you can hit preview. It open a nested browser to preview uh, the article on your own blog. You can check on mobile what it looks like. You can share it, tweet it, and once you're fine, hit publish. You have different options. So either publish only by default or send it in an email or publish and send it in an email. But you need to set up Mailgun to be able to send newsletters. You also have the option to delay when it will be live. So your team can review it or you can launch it at a specific time. Let's say I want it to be live now, continue final review, publish post right now, and my article is available. Here it is. Well, maybe choosing a portrait photo was not the best option because it takes a lot of space, but our article is here and looks like what I expected it to look like. Let's get back to our posts. By default, uh, there was already one created, here is my new post. You can have analytics on it. It helps knowing uh, what article is performant and convert users to uh, your newsletter subscription list. And you have many filters available here to select your blog posts when you, once you have a lot of them. So, okay, we know how to create posts, but we need to make a blog out of it. So what we have is tags. It's the equivalent of a category, but it's named tag. It's quite common on the recent platform to, to use it like this. By default, your instance come with the news tag. If we open it, you can see so the name. You can choose a color. You also have the slug, which is the URL. Maybe you will need to rewrite it to make it more uh, SEO friendly. Also add a description because it will generate a page linking to all your articles related to this tag. You can also add an image because it will appear on top of your tag page. We'll have a look at it. So let's add another one from Japanese food. Okay, let's select this one. Let's rename it to food, food uh, and Japanese food. Let's hit save. And before looking at it, maybe we will need to tag our article. So on the right, you have the post settings. You can rewrite the URL, but by default, it takes the title. You can select the publish date and you can select your tag. So let's select uh, the food. You can see also there is post access. By default, it's public, but you can make it members only, paid members only, or only for specific people. You can change the author and you can decide to feature the post. You can add some metadata for uh, social media so it will appear uh, differently based on the image and title you will specify for each social media. Once you are happy with all of it, you can just leave it automatically save and hit update to update the post. Now let's get back to our tag, open it and view our tag page. Here we have the title of the tag page, the image, you can see the uh, URL is food, and we have our two articles, the first one, which is the one coming with the instance. Currently, the UI of our blog is very generic and maybe doesn't correspond to your uh, brand guidelines, so let's customize it. On the bottom left, you have access to this cog icon, and you can go to customization options. So let's go to design. The design interface appear. So you can select your brand. Here is the title of your blog, best food in the world. You can select a color, which will be uh, the header and also on the subscribe button. You can select a logo, uh, change the default cover, also change the navigation, so either you make it stacked logo in the middle or by default logo on the cover. You can change the font. You don't have a lot of options. 
and you can also select dark or light mode but to me the best is to let the user choose it by selecting auto you can also customize the post page choosing the image style so it's better this way okay let's keep it like this not having thousands of options is not a bad thing first because you uh, will respect the guidelines from ghost and it will always look decent but that's not all because if you go on the bottom left you can see that you can change the theme and here you will have way different design than uh, the default casper theme let's scroll a bit and it's a very different kind of uh, layout and uh, visualization. You can also upload your own theme or you can go to advanced, download your current theme and make some changes on it and re-upload it with your updates. So customizing it is for advanced users, but by default you can select one or customize with the default options you have here. Let's jump back to settings. Of course, you have the settings of your blog, so the title description, the time zone, the publication language. Well, it's very default settings. You can change the navigation. So here you can make your blog more than just a blog because you can add some links that maybe are from your own website and will link elsewhere on pages that you manage. We've briefly seen it in the past settings, but we have access to some membership so we can make paid subscription to our users. You can connect your blog to Stripe and decide that some of your content will be based on a subscription model so you will generate revenue from your blog. You just connect a Stripe account and you're ready to go. As we've seen when we publish a blog post, they suggest us to insert it into our newsletter. So from here, we can customize our mailgun configuration to send emails and create some newsletter. So by default, there this one. And you can edit uh, these template settings with the email address, the uh, design of the header, body and footer. Once you are happy with your settings, you can go and view site. I kept the default theme, so it's very basic, but you can see that you can make it something very personal and very adjusted to what you want to create. So I recommend you two things. First thing is deploy your instance and try it, see how it feels and what you achieve using it and have a look at the documentation, read it, read the category's name and what it is capable of because it might give you ideas of what you might need and you didn't know yet. And the documentation is very well furnished. It comes from the installation to how it works under the hood, how to customize it, create your theme, but also how just as a user, a regular user, you can create content, uh, market it and sell it. Thank you for watching. We hope that you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please hit the like button to help more open source lovers discover great free products. And if you still want to explore the open source world, I highly recommend you to watch this video here.